Hey, what's up? Now, spoiler warning, I'll do my best just to talk about what's being shown in the opening, but the opening video itself is full of spoilers. Just to give some context, I already finished the manga a while back, so I know what's gonna happen in the rest of part 2 of the final season. That's also why I'm confident in breaking down this opening, not that I'm gonna go in super deep, I mean, I haven't made a video in almost two years. I, I think this is also just a way for me to get back into it, to get back into the groove of things. I'll do my best to not spoil anything. But yeah, let's get into the video. The opening starts with Eren's eye opening. What's emphasized more is the way his eyes glow. I think they started doing this at the start of season four. I mean, Attack on Titan al already does this a lot ever since the series started but now there's really a focus on this kind of detail this directly ties in with the attack titan and will later be revealed this season this is the biggest reveal in the whole series in my opinion and it completely changes my view on the show like w on what the show is all about the next shots are just him preparing to go outside the underground cell and then we get a shot of mikasa and armin inside the underground cell Armin is sleeping while Mikasa is taking off her red scarf, which it's the same red scarf that came from Eren. I think this bit clearly shows that Armin and Mikasa, the two people closest to Eren the most, are in the dark of what the f*** is going on in Eren's head. Especially with the whole... The next scene is literal hell in the form of the rumbling. Just a quick side note, if you don't know, the rumbling is when all the colossal titans that were used to make the walls undo whatever the state they're in and go on a death march the rumbling was always their trump card so that the rest of the world wouldn't attack eldia because they have an infinite like number of giga chads to stomp you flat out of existence the catch though is in order to use the founding titan's power and activate the rumbling royal blood is needed that's where this next scene comes in Eren has the founding titan and zeke with the royal blood Eren and zeke with their backs against each other with a bloodstream slash DNA background representing the commonalities they share despite their opposing ideologies and goals, being raised by the same father but growing up the opposite way from one another. It's sort of like the two sides of the same coin kind of thing, yet it pans upward towards the ocean, overlooking the horizon, and we get the title screen. Next scene, we see Eren now outside the underground cell. All I ever wanted to do was do right things. I never wanted to be the king, I swear. This opening song seems like Eren's letter to his friends and to the world. Then we're shown a memory reel of his core friend group, what it was then versus what it is now. The same goes for Reiner's point of view, just the then versus now for Marley's warriors. Now we see Eren on top of the outer wall where the major battle finale of season 3 took place. All I ever wanted to do was save your life. I never wanted to grab a knife. I swear. This line refers to the time Eren rescued Mikasa from the human traffickers where he ends them with a knife. Then a flashback to Levi and Hanji. I can't think of anything at this point of the scene but maybe simply showing his two mentor figures in the show. Another shot of Eren walking on top of the walls before showing a memory of Zeke playing catch with the former beast titan Tom Savior which is his father figure growing up. A shot of little Zeke throwing the ball and how playing catch heavily influenced his fighting style as the beast titan. I'm not sure about this next shot of Zeke here but if I had to guess it's a part of his rebirth in the first episode where he emerged from a titan judging by the smoke behind him. Eren bites his hand and cuts to his titan form running towards Reiner, pushing him against the wall, which then transitions to showing Marley's side of characters. Peak the card titan, Porco the jaw titan, then we're shown a shot of Annie out of the crystal and she's still drenched implying that she just got out of it and you can still see some of the fragments around her. Then the next shot is her titan form which seems to be a flashback to the scene where she grabbed Reiner in season 1 and broke free. That image I'm not really sure about its relevancy with the opening but I, I like to believe it's related. Berthold sheds a tear dropping down to the current colossal titan Armin representing the burden he carried which is now passed on to Armin's shoulders. This is also the scene in season 4 part 1 where Armin did acknowledge what Berthold had to go through as the colossal titan 
right after blowing up the harbor. The next scene is the battle between Warhammer and Attack Titan. The Pats and the founder Emir's body sort of merge together. I think this sequence is more of a reference to how Emir found out or discovered the Titan power. The chorus comes in and we're shown a shot of the sky and the seas wrapped in turmoil as war rages on. Then we see Eren in what looks like a shock of not knowing what to do or a look of hopelessness before flashing to his kid self showing the opposite with an innocent smile and an eagerness to his face. Also you may have noticed that there is a faint imagery around his head of a hand holding a knife which again is in reference to when he took his time with the man who took Picasso. This whole scene just oozes uncanny vibes seeing how he smiles like that. What's more f***ed up is the next scene where the rest of the world is looking up to what seems to be their inevitable demise. Then we get a shot of what looks like Eren's squad on top of the wall. Although I'm not sure if Eren is here with them, he might be the one in the middle. Mikasa then puts back on the scarf from Eren. The next scene is Eren, Mikasa, and Armin running towards the tree where they always hung out when they were little and where Eren always falls asleep in. Then a shot of the three of them to scout Eren, turning around to his current state, closing up to his eyes to what seems to be the rumbling. And by the way, I'm really curious on how they'll do this in the anime because in the manga, it looked so f***ed up and chilling. So that's gonna be interesting. Then the last scene of the opening, Eren screaming his heart out. The poor kid just wants to be free. Oh yeah, and you get stepped on as the opening ends. <coughs> One thing I noticed while making and researching this video is that Attack on Titan hates butterflies. There's always this recurring notion of the survival of the fittest. The law of nature that is, if you don't eat, you get eaten. If you don't fight, you lose. Tatakai. If you die, you get killed. I think that's it. If I get some things wrong i do apologize but it's what i got from the opening it does seem to be very sad and dark and it's not wrong about that aspect with that said that's just it what's wrong with you Mama?